Beginning of 22nd century, a meteorite crashed in North America. Scientists who analyzed it discovered an unknown element. This element ushered in a new era for humanity. A new energy source, Viridium, became a key to interplanetary travel. Soon, mining companies competed to create new settlements all over the solar system. Their political and economic power grew to surpass even the largest nations. Soon, megacorporation V-Corp took control of 65% of all known Viridium fields. It's year 2177. In one of V-Corp mines, located on asteroid Frontier Horizon, an alleged biological organism took over the surrounding ecosystem. This organism was called the Agent. A scientific team was unofficially sent to the asteroid to investigate. All trace of the team was lost. The infamous Gemini 2 squad was sent to find out what happened. And this squad is us. Greetings everyone, my name is Atterville, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of Biota, a 2D metroidvania in development by Small Bros. I'll be spending up to half an hour in this demo, giving my first impressions along the way. Here we go. We start by escaping. Truly a metroidvania, albeit getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Also, because this game is in full screen and there's no windowed mode, I can't see the chat. Ow. The 2-bit aesthetic is neat, only 4 colors per palette. Ow. Those bombs are instant dead it seems. You can save any time? <laughs> Operation Getaway More than a few. I'm also going to turn down the controller vibrations.
Most likely. Let's hope the entire team survives. So we can play as four different characters. Kareel, the mutant. Ace, the veteran. Flint, the raider. And Z, the stalker. Let's play with the machine gunner. Before going into the asteroid, let's quickly go through training. Ace is the fastest character of the group. As such, his gun is one of the worst. Lightning is instant dead, I see. What's with the wood we're collecting? What's with the wood we're collecting? And it's the end of training. Accuracy, more power. I'll go with more power now. Into the ventilation tunnels. I suppose no matter which character you play as, you can progress further into this asteroid, no problem. It's not exactly like a safe state, however. You can only save at safe zones. While we're at it, let's change the palette. This looks nice. A bit more faded, but works. I really don't want to play on the CGA mode. Uh, you know what, actually, let me switch it again. Center is nice and cool. I like the cool blue, but let's play on classic Gemini. Some of those palettes are rather eye glaring. Make the jump. I'm not gonna try risking it. I'm going the other way. This reminds me of a combination of the Game Boy Color and CGA era of graphics.
enemies so far are fairly straightforward to dispatch. What are these things we're collecting? I see I have 54 out of 400. Are those special moves or are those upgrades? Close shave. A safe zone is one without any enemies or hazards. Cool, here's the map. Ah, I see. So spend this in order to increase my max health. This shows the connections between each of the sections. Some okay with it. I need to find a way to access the next part of this asteroid base. I don't know what this says, but I'm assuming that's where I need to go through next. First though, I'm gonna save. And another save point. Out of fuel. Remember this spot for later. It may come in handy. I forgot the enemy respawned here. It seems that these enemies don't drop health pickups, and I don't wish to teleport back to base until I can access another area. this from the other side. So I have to access it from another facility it seems. We're getting close to where we started. Anyways, we're back at the start, so let's get back up to surface level. That could be bad. Okay, I'm switching to the Stalker again. Has a shotgun, so they're better up close. Full ammo refill. Injection. Ammo case. Unit 34. You can even buy new characters. Fuel tank. Oh, this is where I use it. Combat drone. And Goliath.
You die pretty fast in this game. No, you won't. You have us. I'm not gonna try jumping off the sides. Why is in the safe? Let's go down this time. Too risky and we're back almost back here. There must be something useful here. This looks suspiciously empty. Well, we're back here. So, we checked up all the areas here. I have to return to the left side. Maybe in the future I'll get a double jump or high jump. As of right now, this is really focusing on the shooting action over the Metroidvania design. That's what I was worried about. You don't have that many iframes either. It makes for a painful combination. Of course, another strategy you can do is just ignore the enemies. I really wish this had a mini map, it'd be super handy. Hi there. We do have a robot. Oh. We made it to the nuclear plant. So, quick detour back up there. And now I'm going to be playing as Flint. He's the best long-range character. And by using his special ability, we can destroy any enemy on screen. I'm checking out these areas in case they have any collectibles. This area has been cleared, so back to the nuclear plant. Wonderful shielded enemies. Hmm, I guess we need that robot then. I don't think they intend to lock this behind grinding. I probably missed a stockpile somewhere. Okay, we're back. Can we use this now? 
We can. Oh, we're going left. It is time for the right armor segment. I gotta keep moving, otherwise I'll get overwhelmed. And be careful of the exploding caterpillars. Okay, we made it to the other side. Let's go. Save point. The carnage continues. Elevator section. What an explosive way to finish off this demo. To be continued. This was awesome. The demo was starting to get a bit boring for me, then his final section happened. So here are my overall thoughts on the Biota demo. Graphically, the four color palettes neat, but as you know, I tend to prefer graphics which are at least 8-bit. This is more of a case of personal preferences. Music was fine as well, albeit kind of forgettable. Gameplay wise, this was fairly solid. We started out in the tick of it, right in the middle of an escape sequence, before starting the game proper, and we ended with that awesome robot section. The middle part was... fine I guess. It says it's a metroidvania, but it didn't really feature metroidvania design. We had a fairly decent map, however, there were no upgrades or opening shortcuts, and there was only one instance of backtracking. It feels more like an exploration shooter. This really focused more heavily on the shooting mechanics, the twist here is that you can play as multiple characters, each with their own primary weapons, stats, and skills. All in all, I found this to be an okay to decent demo. I wish the best of luck to the developers of this title. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.